Hi friends, I'm down $420,000. I think it's a sign. Actually, I don't give a shit. As I'm planning this video, I'm drinking a, this amazing cup of coffee, chilling, and looking at the beautiful things around me. For those who remain mentally strong, not affected, come, let me give you a round of applause. For the rest of you donkeys, okay, I'm kidding. This video, I'm going to talk about the fundamentals and the technicals of the economy and how you should position yourself for the markets ahead. I've planned another video, but this shit happened last night. So I thought this is going to help you. And I know lots of you are actually depending on my perspective. Anyway, appreciate an early thumbs up. It really helps push this video to other people. I'm using the SPY, the ETF tracking the S&P 500, the mother of all ETFs. Let's take a quick look into the technicals. I'll spend more time on fundamentals because I think it's more important. On my previous uh, market update video, I drew this line here and I told you there's this candle above this resistance line here. So I am very bullish about the market and guess what happened? It retraced down a little bit and it continued upwards for a very, very long time until this happened. Retracements happen all the time in the market and if the market drops, the low will always be a higher low than the previous low. So we are still at a better place than one month ago and two months ago. So the question is how much lower can the stock market go? Let's take a bigger broad outlook of this and I'm going to draw another line. This time I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So this horizontal line is a pretty much a no-brainer here. This was the previous resistance before the whole pandemic started. And if you can see this horizontal line, it is a very nice push upwards here. This is going to be the line where the market is going to take the first breather. And if it goes down continuously, I foresee this is the maximum lowest it can go, which is this support line extended out. So now let's talk about the fundamentals and how the market will move forward. I love talking fundamentals because it is the foundation to everything. Though this pandemic has caused lots of suffering, there are some good that came out of it. Before this pandemic, there were lots of companies who hasn't changed for years surviving based on past glory. This pandemic is like an evolution fast forward. Strong companies, innovative, disruptive companies get stronger and weak companies slow to change getting wiped out. Honestly, it's brutal, but I kind of prefer it this way. I think people have been getting comfortable for a long time and it's time for a massive change. If you look at Q2 2020 earnings, you can clearly see the divide. It's going to only get bigger. So why am I super bullish on the economy? See, number one, the unemployment rate is falling. If the unemployment rate is falling, it means companies are hiring. When companies are hiring, it is obvious they see business growing. I really do not know how else to negatively interpret this indicator. Another indicator I use is the Purchasing Managers Index. The Purchasing Managers Index refers to companies buying stuff. Companies buy stuff to sell. Companies will only buy stuff to sell if there is demand. There is obvious demand out there in the market. It is clear the fundamentals are sound. So now here is my long shot. I got nothing to back this up. So take it for what it's worth. We all heard the Russia vaccine. The world was in shock on how fast Russia was and the whole world criticized them. Western experts to question its safety and efficacy. Now the narrative has changed. The British government and United States are now following the example of Russia and Russia will start mass vaccination before the end of the year. Back again to my long shot thesis, if the mass vaccinations prove to be successful, both you and me know what's going to happen. The, the economy is going to pick up so fast, faster than any depression or world war. Most people won't be prepared for it. Let's spend a little time on money movement. Very little money like stays in cash, like under the pillow in the bank. When the stock market sells off, the money is not lost, it's transferred. So for every crash, there will be people losing money and a small portion of people making tons of money. The money has to go somewhere. There are only a few places where money can go. The stock market, the bonds, precious metals like gold and silver, cash and lately cryptocurrency. Do note I excluded real estate because it's not very liquid enough to make any difference for the short term. So the stock market has came down. So let's take a look at precious metal like gold, GLD. If you look at gold, gold has came down too. Let's take a look at 
Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. There was a sell-off in the cryptocurrency too. So everything is selling off. And now we only have bonds left. So now let's take a look at bonds. Bonds is the only one that went up among every other asset out there. On the super long term, I see bonds coming back down, which is very good for the stock market because the flight from safety will move into the stock market. And if you see the nearer term movement, which is the daily candle of the bond market, if you were to draw this line across, this short line across, you notice the bonds is at a resistance. It's trying to break, but it couldn't break through. Three times it's hitting the top. So this is a triple top. Again, I see bond prices coming down and I see money moving from the bond market to the stock market and every other asset out there. Concluding this video, my timing may not be the best. When I bought into Tesla at $300 pre-split, Tesla stock price dropped to $175. My timing of other stocks were better, but there's no way to predict bottoms. So while I agree my timing of like lemonade could have been better, I apologize for it. As mentioned in my very first lemonade video, I already told you guys I have three entry points and keeping my position size small because I know the nature of the stock market. So while my entries are not optimum all the time because it's impossible, Time and time again, I've proven a donkey like me can outperform the market by simply having the mental fortitude from well-researched fundamentals and just be forward-looking. If you got extra money, just buy. If you don't, oh, it is simple as that. I hope you learned something in this video. Appreciate the early thumbs up and always invest safe.